Midship Express. Guys, I need your attention. This is a big deal. At least it's a big deal to me. <laughs> I don't know why this isn't getting more press, or maybe I do. It's because I'm a crazed MR2 person and we're not normal. But basically, uh, the MC8 was found quietly. Now, if you don't know what the MC8 is, you have to know a little bit about Wikipedia and how to... No, actually, here, let me explain it to you because I'm reading Wikipedia right now. But basically, there's a, an event called Le Mans. <laughs> I don't know if you know that much. It's a 24-hour event. It has a long history. Um, there was a modified MR2 known as the MC8R uh, produced by Sard or Sigma Automotive Racing Development. Now, in order to get into that event, you have to have, there's a requirement saying you basically have to have at least one road car on the street uh, before you can enter the event. And that was produced uh, and is known as, again, the MC8. Now, the MC8R that you're seeing now, the actual race car, there were a couple of them actually. They raced in 95. Uh, in 96 and they did pretty horribly <laughs> um, they didn't uh, qualify in uh, in one of the events uh, one of the cars caught on fire it's kind of it's kind of too bad but it's a brutal event if you go watch some Le Mans video or if you follow Le Mans you know you already know what, what I'm talking about not really something to brag about I suppose but I, th I do I still think it's cool that there was a version of the MR2 I was out there racing with Ferraris and Porsches and everything else. All right, so first let's look at one of the versions of the MC8R. Again, there were two different versions, at least, that I was aware of. One was more MR2 looking, um, as seen here. Um, you can tell by the rear tail lights, it utilizes actual. Uh, rear tail lights off of an MR2 and, and uh, the rear bumper looks very similar. Most everything else is different. The front end is a different front end. Uh, doesn't have the pop-up headlights. A lot of differences. Beautiful car though. Beautiful race car. Alright, so something you'll notice with the MC8 is the circular fog lights. Looking at the rear end of this car, I mean it looks a lot like an MR2. So that's what it looks like in the magazine. Are you ready? Are you ready to see what it looked like when it surfaced this year, 2015? Years later, I don't know how many years, I'm not going to go look. But are you ready? Okay, <laughs> here it is. So first thing you'll notice, at least I noticed, is those fog lights are missing. Um, the front end is looking a little rough. You'll find out why later. Or I'll just tell you why. It's because the front, the whole front end of that car pops off easily. And I think they were doing this for photos. So I think, I think that's less of an issue. You can see some wear and tear on, on the car from this uh, first image. And look at it from the side view. I, I just, I think it's so cool to see this car from different angles and it, you know, I've never seen, been able to find before. There were so few pictures of this car before it went into hiding, so to speak. But there are a couple, couple cool things to notice also. Uh, one of the first things I noticed is that uh, whoever owned this vehicle changed the mirrors out. If you recall from the stock photos, the mirrors were, were speaking of stock, they're actually stock MR2 mirrors and they were black. And it looks like these have been switched out for, I think those are Bomex, but anyway, those have been swapped out. Kind of an interesting choice. I think it, I think it works well on the car, but um, I probably, I probably would have kept them stock. Anyway, the other thing I noticed that's kind of interesting is these, is the wheels. The wheels appear to be this, the same wheels, but the uh, black centers have been probably polished off, or, or uh, probably what happened is the paint or whatever material was on them started wearing off and so they just took the rest of it off to make it all an all aluminum looking wheel and I like the shot of the hood it really sort of is boasting the fact that this isn't a front engine car this photo shows some of the wear and tear you know you see some of the rusty bolts there but um, it's been kept up pretty well it could be worse I suppose but gosh if this was my car <laughs> you wouldn't see corrosion like that but uh, 
I find it interesting. I mean, that is 100% a, a stock MR2 door. You're also noticing that little uh, side vent on the quarter window there. Looks like it's popping off. Uh, but uh, all in all, it's pretty good shape. I really hope, actually, that someone, wherever this car is located, can take some video of it. Hopefully there's someone actually doing something even better. I mean, who knows who bought it? Maybe they're restoring it and there's gonna be a big reveal. I don't know, I don't know. Here's my favorite angle of the MR2, of any MR2 actually. It's just a beautiful <laughs> rear end on these cars. Um, the kooky tail lights. Do kids still say kooky these days? I don't know. Here's a picture of the front end with hood off. Again, I, man, I, I keep better care of my 91 MR2. That isn't some piece of Japanese racing history, but I don't, I don't know. That's just me. Um, so, I, oh God, I hope someone's taking care of this thing. Here's the engine. Yeah, that's. I've seen some interesting swaps before. I'd love to get some better, some better views of this. I wonder, I wonder if there's any kind of bracing. It looks like there could have potentially been some brace. Oh, where are the, where I'm just noticing where are the struts? suspension there's no is that just me there must be some custom suspension thing going on it's interesting that those towers those strut towers are still there but uh yeah that's something i just noticed there's not <laughs> normally like on on my car right here and here you uh that's where you adjust your coilovers so and then you also have a strut brace you have some kind of bracing that goes in between the two strut towers uh so that's interesting i wonder if they were working on the car when they shot this picture or let's look underneath the car Ah, so clearly some custom stuff going on there suspension-wise. It's also kind of fun to see a power plant in an MR2 with dual exhaust like that, dual cats. I'm assuming they also took out the under panels that typically exist on an MR2. The underside of MR2s are usually basically flat uh, because there are plastic panels that bolt to the undercarriage. and. Uh, Keeps things nice and aerodynamic and clean too, actually. I've seen fuel tanks that are 25 years old that look brand new because they've been sort of sealed away down there. And here's a shot of the, of the cockpit here. It looks like a normal MR2, normal right-hand drive MR2. Not a lot going on. But let me know if you guys in the comments, if you spot anything that I'm not spotting. I mean, other than clearly the custom steering wheel, a custom gauge cluster there, dash. The only other thing I'm kind of spotting is the e-brake handle i don't know any mr2s that have that weird cover thing that looks kind of like a condom <laughs> to be honest but <clears throat> i don't know uh that's that's a little different um maybe that's standard elsewhere in the world but I, I have never seen it hey guys i appreciate you watching the video um take a moment to subscribe if you could and like it if you like it also comment i'm sure that i'm sure i butchered a number of things in this video i'm just honestly i threw it together because i'm very excited about this whole thing and again, I, I hope uh, that we can find the, the new owner and see if, if uh, they're going to do any restoration, if there's going to be any more coverage that they can maybe have someone shoot some video of the car and do a little feature on it. I, I think, again, there's a lot of interesting history here that really has been lost, um, partially because of poor performance, but also just because it's not a common vehicle and they only raced this thing a couple of times before it got pulled. So really fascinating stuff. Hey, thanks again, guys. Take care. See you next time.